Today's project will connect two things that I like, making and running. Normally I'm not into short distance running, I usually don't run less than 5 kilometers, but because I would like to see how fast I am at 100 meters distance, I would also like to challenge myself and run 100 meters every day for a month to see how much can I improve on that short distance, I decided to build this project. I haven't made an electronics project in quite a while, so it's good to be back and play with electronics a little bit. I designed this project about 6 months ago, but because of the winter I decided to wait for the spring. And here we have a spring and here we have this project. Here's also the sponsor of this video, lcsc.com. This is an online store with electronic components. I will talk a little bit more about them later in the video. I already drew the rough design of how I want this project to look like and I already started prototyping the electronics, so let's get back to my room and I will show you what I have. There is my prototype and everything seemed to work fine. I will use the ultrasonic sensor to detect when a person crossed the finish line. Here is also the buzzer to signalize the start few buttons and e-paper display. And you may ask, Nikodem, why do you use e-paper display for such simple project? Because I can, but also because you can easily see everything even when it is super bright outside on e-paper display. The resolution of it is quite impressive, so you can fit a lot of information on this display and also it consumes little energy, which is always nice for a project. I already developed the Arduino program. I'm not going to explain you how it works right here because it's kind of boring, but I basically have just few functions to display different menus on the screen and measure the time of your run. I will put it on my GitHub, so if you want to see it, there is a link in the description. Now I will design a 3D printed case for all of that. This box turned out quite bulky, but it need to be big to fit all of those parts inside. And I also feel like I over-engineered some parts of this box, especially the battery flap. But maybe it will be good, I hope it will be easier to remove the batteries and you know, replace the batteries thanks to this kind of flap system. Uh, right now I have to remove the supports from this part and I also already started printing the top part for this box. Before I will start assembling, let me show you all of the components that we need. Here I have all of the 3D printed parts, we need 3 3D printed parts. Here is the main box, we will put all of the electronics right here. Those holes are for the ultrasonic sensor, this hole is for the switch. Of course here we will put the battery holder. This small hole is so that you can attach the wool thing to the tripod. And here is a place for the buzzer. This is the top of this box, so we will attach it like this with M3 screws. Those holes are for the buttons. And this hole is for the e-paper display. And here on the bottom we'll put the battery flap like this. And we'll secure it with a screw right here. I have a battery holder, switch, three buttons and electronics. So we can start assembling. Thank <laughs> you. 
everything works great, the case itself is quite big and the design of that is not the best. But as for now, as for the first prototype, it's fine, I just wanted to do its job. And now we can go out and test this thing, but before we will, a quick message from the sponsor of this video. As I told you, this video is sponsored by LCSC.com. LCSC is an online store where you can buy electronic components, but not just the most popular electronic components, you can find here anything, like literally anything. Depends on your needs, you can buy one resistor or million resistors, and they have a discount price if you buy more. So if you want to buy parts for a prototype of your next project, or start manufacturing your own product, you can find all the components that you need on lcsc.com. I will put a link to LCSC in the description, so go check them out. And now we can go out and test this project. To make it easier to detect me, I put it on a tripod because it's easier to detect the upper parts of the body than my shoes. So I have a tripod right here and now let me explain you how to use it, how to set it up to start your run. You can turn it on with the switch right here. It takes some time to boot up the paper display and with those two green and red buttons you can set up the distance that you want to run. The minimum is 50 meters and the maximum is 1 kilometer. So let's set up the 50 meters distance and with this you can start. You have to prepare, you have the buzzer to let you know that you have to prepare. You have to go to the start right now and wait for the buzzer to turn on again and then you can start your run. Let's do the first test run. I will restart this thing, go to the start and we'll see if it works. There was something wrong with the first time, probably the ultrasonic sensor detects something in the air, but the second one is fine. And also this distance is not 100 meters, as I initially thought, that's just 60 meters, but that's fine. So let's do some more test runs. Project works fine. My times are not really that impressive, so I'm not even going to show you that. I want to try to do my challenge and run 100 meters every day for a month to see if I can improve my times. Then I will show you, I will probably make a video about that, if that will be successful. I'm really happy with this project. It was nice to play with the electronics. Thank you to LCSC for sponsoring this video. And that's it. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching. Happy making and running. Bye.